In this video, I will show how to calculate composite reliability, convergent validity, and discriminant validity. This is state's rules package. This can be downloaded from its original source developed by James Gaskin. I will paste this URL in the comments so that you can go to this page and you can find out this state's tools package here. It's very useful. Here is the master validity and these are the instructions that you can read. So here in column A, you have to paste correlations table and here you have to paste standardized regression weights and then this will automatically calculate composite reliability, conversion validity, and discriminant validity. Now, how to and where to find this correlations table? Go to view text, estimates, scalars, and here you can find out correlations table. Click, copy, and paste. Now, standardized regression weights, go to the same tab. Here you will find out standardized regression weights, which is also called as factor loading. Copy and paste and run. Here, interestingly, there is no validity concern. If there is any, that will be highlighted here as well as highlighted in the matrix. We just simply copy and paste here. Now, I will be dividing this table into three portions so that we can better interpret. Now, the first thing is composite reliability. So, I will remove all these other columns. And here is composite reliability. Formula is if composite reliability CR value is greater than 0 0.70, it means that our model has achieved composite reliability. So you can see all values are greater than 0 0.70. Hence, we can conclude that our this model has achieved composite reliability. The variables all achieved composite reliability. Number two, convergent validity. I will copy and paste the same table. And here I will remove all other values except the value of AVE and composite reliability because we have already interpreted above. Now formula is if AVE is greater than 0 0.50 it means that model has achieved convergent validity so you can see here all the values are greater than 0 0.50 in addition to the requirement of AVE our this factor loading should also be greater than 0 0.50 ideally it should be greater than 0 0.70 but if the values are greater than 0 0.50, still it is acceptable. So we can copy and paste and we can also observe all the values here under estimate is this is factor loading. So our factor loading, if factor loading is greater than 0 0.50 and AVE greater than 0.50, it means that the model has achieved convergent validity. So now in our this result, all the requirements met. So we can conclude the model has achieved convergent validity. And finally, discriminant validity. So I will remove these four columns and we are left with this table. Now here formula is if square root of AVE is greater than interconstruct correlations, it means the model has achieved discriminant validity. Now, the values here in diagonal, these are the values of interconstruct correlation. And the values here, these are 
sorry these are the values of square root of ave and these values are interconstruct correlations now we can see here this value is 0.842 which is greater than all these values and similarly 0.781 is greater than all these values and all the values here on diagonal are greater than the interconstruct correlation therefore we can conclude that our this model has achieved discriminant validity if there are any concerns here in our first iteration then all the concerns will be highlighted here so we have to go back to our measurement model and we have to do some adjustments so that we can achieve this composite reliability discriminant validity and conversion validity in other video i will also show how to manage if there are validity concerns thank you